I look very official with my computer here, don't I? Well, you look like a um it it looks like a political podcast, which I guess that's kind of what we are. <laughs> <laughs> if politics were in a circus. We're live. Right? Oh yeah, we're moving. You better get the content flowing, sis. I can't. <laughs> Everything hurts. What? I fell asleep on the fucking couch. I woke up on the couch, uh, disheveled. My feet were hanging off. I wasn't comfortable. My shoulder hurt. And I woke up about 8 a.m. And then um, I walked in. I looked at my clock. And then I just fell back asleep, I guess, until about like 10, 11 a.m. And then I went back into bed until about 11, and I pushed Rafe when I got in bed. And I was like, you're a jerk. You didn't wake me up. Because I guess in my mind, I was like, he needed to carry me from the couch into (laughs) bed like a little baby. What time did you fall asleep, you think? I don't know. Probably like 1 a.m. Wow. That's a long night on the couch. Mm -hmm. What were you uh, watching? Community. And where are you going? Well, I was laying down on the couch already, but I started nodding off and Rafe was just like, I'm so jealous of how quickly you can fall asleep. Yeah. How can you just nod off? What do you mean? I was tired. But how do you not wake up? I I often nod off, but then I'm like, oh, wake up. Wake up. I'm in the moment, brother. <laughs> I just let myself, if I'm going to fall asleep, I fall asleep. God damn it, Randy, you bastard. I hadn't said anything yet. We're good. (laughs) If I'm driving, if I'm driving and I just start nodding off, I let it happen, fall asleep. (laughs) Sometimes I get all the way home asleep. So what you're trying to tell me now is you're elderly. I guess so. (laughs) The pain I had waking up this morning was like, it was the kind of pain that I was like, oh, fuck, it's going to ruin my whole day. It's going to ruin my whole day and maybe tomorrow. How do you feel now? I feel a little better because I went and laid in a real bed (laughs) and slept for a little bit. So a little better. I'm drinking coffee out of this large cup. Kitty. Look at Kitty. Trying to escape. Somebody's got to be on guard here. I walked in from smoking a cig and gave Kitty my hands. I was like, that's probably why Kitty always wants to bite me because Kitty's like, get your fucking nasty ass fingers away from me. Get your smoke hands out of here. Look (laughs) at him. He's running away. Get your smoke hands out of here. (laughs) Kitty's like, I don't like this fucking obstacle course y'all have set up because we got nine cameras going. We're like the CBS news station. Now on camera one, camera two. We got a lot. How many do we have? One, two, three, four. Just four. But that's enough. We want you guys to be able to jerk off effectively. If you have a video (laughs) where it's very grainy, Mm -hmm. who can jerk off to that? No. We need crisp, clean content. We want you to be able to really look and find any blemish (laughs) we have on our face. Oh God! Some I mean, people get off on hairs. that. Oh, I got a solid one. I got. I I've been having a lot of face acne from wearing masks all the time. Mm. I like that I said face acne. <laughs> what other fucking kind is there? Wow, you're still I guess wearing there's a mask. Acne. <laughs> I what a loser! Wow, you fucking hack! <laughs> I got mine in my bag. Me too, because I gotta hit up Aldi when I leave here. Get me some of that zero net carb bread. Zero net carb bread. It's fucking legit. A garden bench and a lawnmower all in the same place. Gonna get me a nice pair of clogs, a candle, (laughs) and some zero net carb bread. I smell a smell and I think it might be me. Um, Of stank? Yes. Oh. Welcome to the podcast, everybody. Guess Randy uh, will find out afterwards. (laughs) What, when he's eating that fucking big booty? No, when I'm bent over trying to fix something, and he accidentally comes over and goes, whoa, what's that smell? <laughs> when I'm bent over getting fucking railed by Randy. 
Oh, Randy, shit. what are you doing, bro? Getting fucking railed by Randall R. Cash. I don't get railed by anybody except Jamie Fraser in my mind. Yeah, I saw the fucking background on your laptop. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Let me look at it right now. Just give a get a look. How many things are open? Hi. <clears throat> oh, I uh, started reading the books, okay? Mm-hmm. Sex is not as good in the books as it is on the TV show. You gotta have an imagination. It's, it's very abrupt. It's like, oh, he he kissed me, and then we went to the bed. And that's... I'm like, if I wanted to imagine it, I wouldn't be reading. You want to see the trembles. I want to hear about a pulsating ding dong. I want to hear about how he entered her moist mound. I got to find this uh, DM from a person. Uh Uh-oh, we in trouble now. Oh, there it is. I got a message from somebody. Chelsea Lynn shared something of mine on Instagram and it was like on her Instagram story. And it was like, new follower, new follower, new follower. I was like, Jesus Christ. (laughs) I mean, it wasn't that many, but it was enough for me to be like, what happened? And then I was like, (laughs) oh, okay. I was like, did I do something fucking awesome? (laughs) Am I going viral? Am I going fucking viral right now? Like this viral load the coronavirus has? (laughs) I get this message from somebody at 528 a.m. Oh, wow. And they're just like, hey. I said, yo. And then they wrote, send nudes. (laughs) And I was like, oh, I can't. I have the worst diarrhea. (laughs) Like, constant for the last hour. I can send you a video of that. And they said, okay. (laughs) I said, okay, I'll send you a video soon. Warning, it's like watery and brown. (laughs) And then they said, video chat me or just send the video. And then I said, I showed this to my partner, Rafe. And he goes, "Ooh, hold on a second. Give me a minute. So then we go on this deep dive. (laughs) And I was looking for like, I typed in like diarrhea porn on Pornhub. And there was, okay. So the first video I clicked on was a video of a girl that's like super blonde, really hot, like big old titties. And she's stripping. And it's like her taking off her clothes, like touching her pussy and all this. And then it cuts to her sitting on the toilet naked. And you just hear poops dropping. And I was like, (laughs) that's not what I signed up for. I signed up to see shit. I don't want to hear the shit. I want to see it, you know. So I was like, yeah, these fucking dickheads. So then I go to another one and... uh, Oh, God, I almost vomited. It was like, how are people into this? It was like from behind, from the way that it th- this video was shot, and might I add, it was very grainy, um, <laughs> was like the camera's here and there are people sitting right over here. So it was like the sky, white guy, big dong. I'm talking 12 inches. Wow. Huge, huge fucking dong. And this girl's jerking him off wearing a cardigan. (laughs) She's not even naked. She's wearing a cardigan. And I could tell by the by the fucking, you know, it was clearly a little sweater. Right. Just J.O. in this guy off, just jerking him off, wearing a motherfucking (laughs) cardigan. And this fuck stick right behind her. I didn't even have to see his head. And I mean, I did see one head, but not the head I want. I'm not, I didn't see his face. And he's wearing like, you know, just some shitty band T-shirt or something. You don't even see his head. I know what it looks like. He's got a bowl cut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to know anymore. This motherfucker has a solid bowl cut, strawberry blonde hair, kind of greasy. And he's got the biggest cock ever. So this is what, you know. And this guy wasn't an incel, but he had incel vibes, you know. <laughs> Obviously, he's not an incel. He was getting that was fucking getting sweet cardigan pussy. <laughs> so she's J-O-ing him off. You can see her fucking, I mean, 
I want to see an arm. I want to see your full arm as you're jacking right. this guy off. I don't want to see you wearing a fucking cute little, nice little sweater you wear to the office. You put the, your little office sweater on when it gets cold. Maybe mm-hmm. it was cardigan porn. Well, it wasn't. It was diarrhea, fart, and shit porn. <laughs> so she hops on this fucking dong. <laughs> And they're just getting it. Again, camera is just like this, and it's like they're sitting right there. So you don't see any of their faces. You just see her getting this big-ass dong. And I'm like, oh, my God, somebody call an ambulance because she about to get impaled <laughs> by this cock. She's. We need to call an ambulance. Right. There's no way that's getting in there. It's like I told you, Rafe held up that big cucumber and was like, you think I could? I wonder what it'd be like if my dick was this big. I'm like, I'd be dead. That's what would happen. And so they're getting it, and you can see her b-hole as she's riding this guy's cock. And then (laughs) shit just starts falling (laughs) out of her. I mean, falling out. And he's spreading her butt cheeks apart so her b-hole can be totally open. And shit's falling out. If it looked like it was raining. You know what? I, there was no pullback, no pressure. Just so she was. He's pushing her bee hole to open. Face, yeah, and he's so grabbing her booty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's grabbing her booty with this fucking incel uh, army color green shirt. Did and he say anything like "Oh, let it loose"? They didn't say a word. <laughs> How did he know the shit was coming out? Not then? one word. He's just holding her bo- booty hole, and shit is <laughs> dropping out. And luckily. They were in a position where it could just drop right on the ground. Did you hear her poop (laughs) dropping onto the ground? And we're talking, that's a four foot, this is a tall man with a tall dong. His legs are high up. It's like the way that he looked sitting there was like, you know, when a really tall person gets into a small car, like a Honda Civic (laughs) or a Toyota Corolla, and their legs are up so high that you're like, if we got in a wreck, both of your legs would break. So did he have his legs spread? She was just yeah, in the middle. had his legs spread a little bit. You know, it wasn't like ridiculous. It wasn't like he was doing a stretch. Well, he had to let those turds fall. Man. <laughs> and shit's just pouring out of her. And it was so much. Was there any solid turd? It was kind con- Yeah. It was gross. I didn't like the color. I got grossed out. <laughs> I turned it off. But I was like laughing still. But I was like showing it to Rafe and like still grossed out. And he was looking at it like. Now, for the listening audience, if they wanted to find something like this, how would they go about finding this? Mm. Hold on. Let me just uh, tell you the exact (laughs) name of the video. We'll just go on to my history. Okay. So. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. And then there was one. It was like pooping a baseball out. And I was like, hell yeah, going to see this fucking gal. She's bent over, you know, like in like a child's pose. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you see something come out and (laughs) she poops the baseball out. But I was like, no, 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 no. You don't get to say you pooped the baseball out unless you ate that shit. (laughs) And it was digested through your stomach and your body. You don't get to say you sh- if you pooped a baseball out when you just shoved it in your asshole. So it wasn't a turd the size of a baseball. It was an actual baseball. It was an actual baseball, but she opened up her anus and put the baseball in there and then let it sit there for a little bit and then acted like she pooped it out. The act of pooping doesn't mean you put something in there and then you spit it out. You know what I mean? I don't say I ate cheesecake if I put a piece of cheesecake in my mouth hold it in there for a little bit, and then I spit it in the toilet. (laughs) No, that's some eating disorder level shit. shit. Used to do that, okay? You didn't eat the cheesecake, baby. You just let it sit in your fucking mouth for a little bit. Okay? You don't, you don't, that doesn't qualify as eating. Did any poop come out with the? No, not a lick. Not even an, it was just a full baseball that came out. It just upset me. I'm like, you need to write, Open asshole, shoved baseball <laughs> into asshole, held it for the amount of time it took me to start recording this, and then I let it let it rip. You know what I mean? That's like putting a suppository in. I don't want to. I don't want to get too off track here, though. 
you initially looked these up so you could send them to your suitor in DMs. <laughs> yes. So what did you end up sending him? Him or her? Or they? Well, hold on. We need to give everybody a... I love that you just tried to reel me back in. I, I want to like know that. what happened. Okay. I'll show you that, and then we'll get back to the <laughs> porn history. So Rafe starts... We're looking at that, and I was like, this is gross, man. I was like, I don't even know. I'm like, what do I do? Screen record it, you know, and send it to this motherfucker? <laughs> it's just going to take too long. And Rafe goes, hold on a second. And then he goes and looks on his phone. He's scrolling through his uh, improv group's Facebook page. <clears throat> And uh, <laughs> the Burnside Facebook page. And he's like, <laughs> I posted a picture a long time ago of like the grossest gas station toilet I've ever seen while I was on the road. And then he sends me the picture. Look at this toilet. <laughs> oh, shit. Randy, look at this I'm thing. All right. <laughs> I mean, that is some fucked up diarrhea. Oh, you could see it in that little camera. Yep. It is fucked. Just, I mean, it looks like somebody. Well, at least there's not any on the seat. You could actually sit down and poop some more. I didn't even think of that. I mean, give a round of applause to this person. <laughs> I The fact that they're, un unless Rafe did this himself and acted <laughs> like he just stumbled, he just happened upon it. I mean, that looks like somebody's asshole just exploded. It is amazing it's not on the seat. <laughs> I still can't believe I shit in that one toilet. Or that I peed in that toilet. I didn't shit in there because I would have to sit down. It was much worse than that one, though. Was it? It was so <gasps> bad. <laughs> okay. I mean, it was horrific. Like, even just looking at that, you think I'd pee on top of that? Well, I would if I had to go real bad. Okay, I would not want any of the doo doo water. To we come need up to on take me, a poll from everyone. Do you guys <laughs> think I'm the grossest person in the world because I peed on that toilet I described to you that one time? I don't. Are know. Are we waiting for answers? Because we won't hear any. Yeah, right I was now. just waiting for them. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> what so. you should have done is taken a picture, like zoomed in real close to Rafe's butt cheek. Mm hmm. And be like, here's my ass. And then all of a sudden, Rafe fucking lets one loose. Nasty. Let's... Dude, Simba farted like that yesterday. I was like, whoa. It literally sounded like it was like. <laughs> 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 Did you die laughing? Yes. Rafe and I were looking around and he goes, oh, my God, that was Simba. That was a juicy <laughs> fart. And he just goes. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't even react. Did he? Nope, he laying like, down. Just living it up. Maybe he got up and looked for a little bit, but we were like, dude. Or smell his butt. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was really amazing. Uh-oh. Randy uh, fucked up. Whenever Randy's working on stuff and we micromanage him, I bet he hates it so much. <laughs> I bet that's why. Uh, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> uh, Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking bitches. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, I can't believe. Uh, I, You're right. The big, the most amazing thing about this picture. And mind you, this motherfucker left me on scene. He never answered, never said shit. So you sent that to him? I sent it to him. I sent the toilet pic <laughs> bowl picture to him. And this was on Instagram or on? Um... On Instagram. Maybe I should message him and be like, can you just give me some kudos for how clean that <laughs> toilet seat is? <laughs> Wow. Anytime. He just used you and abused you. That's he, fucking rude. He really did. What did he do? Jack off to that picture of the toilet and then just head off? And he's like, whoop, time to ghost her. He still follows me. So, oh, wow. I mean. I can't wait to go through your friends list and try to find this guy. Oh, I'll tell you who it is. It's just a lot of photos of bikes. Oh, cool. I like bikes. Bicycles, too, to be exact. So, you know. Looks like Randy's uh, getting shut down. No, the screen went off, but it's it's still the computer's still running. So and I'm the hoping for cams the cams are still running. So. You know, if we had enough money to have a full studio, um, we would never have to see what Randy's doing. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't have to see a fucking thing. We would just trust that it was happening, mm -hmm. working. 
And then he'd be all panicked alone and able to actually. <laughs> okay. Get shit done. So here's what I Googled to find the diarrhea. Diarrhea video. And then I clicked on biggest explosive diarrhea ever. And that was the first one? Yeah. I think. No. Here it is. The one, the one that I told you about was blonde strips, then shits. <laughs> Blonde in cardigan strips, then shits. Pooping porn videos. Pooping a baseball out. Blonde <laughs> strips, then shits. Farting and shutting on cock. <laughs> <laughs> and shutting. That they had a typo in that video. That's the one. That was the one that I watched. Shutting. Can I just show you the beginning where she's I'll got the cardigan? The okay. Let me put on my spectacles so I can see. Okay. Don't worry, it's just going to take like a couple hours to load. So we're going to be good. Okay. I could probably type it on my computer. Okay. Randy's like, yeah, get it up on the big screen. Yeah. Okay. What do you say, diarrhea video? Yeah, type in diarrhea video Pornhub. <laughs> Or just type in diarrhea into Pornhub. Isn't porn... I don't really watch porn because it just... Uh, th there's been like a few times I have, but I'm just not... I'm not a huge porn watcher. I'm I just, not either. And I don't like... Like, Rafe and I tried to watch it one time together, like, and it just <laughs> weirded me out. I'm like, I'm hearing in the background, like, people be like, oh, oh, oh. And it, I was just like, this feels weird. I didn't like it. I think I actually had him turn it off because I just wasn't into it. <laughs> just, I don't even see your internet up here, Randy. There it is. Earlier? Yeah, it like disappeared. My phone has the shittiest internet in here. Um, And I'm going to be honest, I found this all on my phone. Farting and shitting on cock. I mean, get... <laughs> She didn't even, she's, it's like, have you ever tried to type shit and it corrects it to shut? Yes, exactly. All the time. They didn't even pay, they were probably so aroused. Oh, yeah. I mean, they just got done coming and the video uploaded. <laughs> I just Googled farting and shutting. <laughs> <laughs> shutting. I bet there's going to be a million videos that pop up. I don't think your internet's on right now, Randall. I have it. You hear that dead, dead ass? I silence? don't have it on my phone or. On yeah, my... I don't either. I'm gonna try and turn it off and see if I can find it. I think I was supposed to do Top Golf uh, this weekend. Oh yeah, those shows were fun as fuck. Yeah, that's why I took it. So fucking fun. You know what, though? You're going to have to, the stage is high up. Is Not it? high up, but like, I mean, it was like a fucking step for me. There's no step? How to stop farting. Six quick tips for relief. Yeah, my phone will not load up. Is, is it trying to block us? My phone, my computer, and my life. Truly upsetting. I just wanted you to see this gal's cardigan up front, but it's not going to happen. It should, just ain't going to happen. Should we today. take a break till we know everything's working? Well, the audio's working and the cameras are working. <clears throat> I wonder why. Where's your router? Is it in There's, here? Uh, It's right there. Route this. Yeah. What's right. it hooked into? Grabs junk. That one that's off? That's off. Probably. Maybe it overloaded. You think it overloaded? Is it plugged in over there? Oh, yeah, did I do it? On. I did it. Tina. <laughs> I did it when I was grabbing my Nick mints. Tina, you ruined the pod post. Oh, my God. We're going to have to cut some of that out. Oh, shit. That moved. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Hopefully that's where it was. Otherwise, okay, there we go. We're in business, diarrhea, porn. Should we cut out some of that? 
I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm just saying, let's make a note of the time so we can look around. 20, I'm just we're looking at around. Minutes. All right, now I can finally look this up. Okay, farting and shutting on cock. <laughs> Ah! That, there are people who love that shit, though. And I got mad respect for them. I just can't. Remember, I shit in Rafe's hand, and we almost ended our relationship. <laughs> Zyda has urgent diarrhea. <laughs> Who's Zyda? That's a video on Pornhub. Zyda has urgent diarrhea. Well, guess what, sister? I'm going to be making a lot of money because I got that fucking happening to me every day. <laughs> Urgent diarrhea. Every time I shit, you know that somebody asked me to save them toilet paper rolls for like a sketch. They were like, hey, could you save me some toilet paper rolls or whatever for something? And I was like, I know myself and I'm going to be very blunt with you. I'm not a person who pees responsibly. When I pee, it is urgent. It is I'm running into the toilet. I'm not somebody who's like, you know what? Maybe I, I don't regulate myself like a child. You know, when a kid's mom is like, hey, listen, we're going we're gonna, to go to the bathroom. Why don't you go to the bathroom? Because you're going to have to go here in a little bit. Let's just do that. No. I am running to the toilet every time, <laughs> hopping onto the toilet, almost missing. And then if there's no toilet paper, I quickly grab it and throw it in the trash and grab a new toilet paper roll. Oh. So I'm like, t- the mental capacity it would take for me to think about saving a toilet paper roll, it's not going to happen. I'm in a rush all the time. So you were not able to to help this person for crafts? Thai woman diarrhea with oral and anal. This guy, no. here's what I'll say. I don't think that that's a Thai man <laughs> fucking this Thai woman because he got a lot of tribal tattoos. I can't tell what's an ad and what's... Okay, hold on. I'm just going to... I I typed in farting and shutting. Okay, let me just find... I'm going to just find the video. Wow, is this my butt? <laughs> it could very well be my butt. Holy shit, oh. I think that's my butt. Giant Barbara, who is looks to be at least, I don't know, 80, forcing her slave to smell farts and lick enormous ass. I'm sorry, but I got to watch this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> forcing someone to smell your farts (laughs) is this free oh yeah Pornhub's hella free it's still free right now hold on a second it's now telling me page not found I'm about to get real fucking upset what if they deleted it because you uh, you watched it too many times Dude, I want to puke. <laughs> Some of this, yeah, I did watch it a lot. And the internet is very, very slow. Oh, now I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Yeah, Diarrhea Porn Hub. I can't believe it. It said that it can't find the video. I should have fucking screen grabbed it when I could have. I mean, this is fucking embarrassing. <laughs> I want to show my fucking friends this video and it's not here. I promise it was on here. It says it's not allowed. How do you spell diarrhea? D i a r r h e a. Wow, this is fucking embarrassing. <laughs> I don't believe you actually watched the video. Okay, well, I sh- saw the history. It said farting and shutting, <laughs> and now it's just saying page not found. Got a lot of these look like someone made these in their trailer home oh yeah they're all amateur they are not all but a lot of them yeah that's, that's why what's they so weren't cool showing about their face hub. then probably what is taking this so long wife fucks customer from her store and let me tell you this <laughs> motherfucker's got some tattoos <laughs> BBW bad. Yeah, diarrhea. you just gotta watch the ads on Pornhub. But really, it's amazing. You don't have to worry about getting a virus on your phone. You don't? <laughs> oh, who's farting? <laughs> Jerk off with ugly girls. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Not kidding. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. 
feeling hot, hot, hot. hot. <laughs> okay, there's a cartoon on here. Having sex. Here's what I will say. The best part about this video of the wife fucking customer from her store is that they got an AC unit blasting in the background. A window and the unit? TV going. When you're with a customer, though, There's so you got to hurry. Much discharge. Oh, okay. Ugh. I got a problem with, like, slim penises, okay? I just do. If you got slim. one, I know that someone loves you and they love you, but it just feels like a little pencil. <laughs> like I'm taking a test, you know, on a Scantron, and I take a number two pencil, and I just ever so slightly shove it in my pusina. <laughs> And I say to the teacher, hey, can I get another pencil? I don't know where mine went. I broke mine. It's in my pussy. (laughs) I'm sorry. Uh, You have been suspended for the day, ma'am. Oh, wow. Okay, so. Farting and shutting on cock is gone. So you're saying you're at the point of Instagram fame now where you are getting sexual messages. What can I say? You always have, though, haven't you? No, I honestly don't get that many. I'm going to like, there's a couple people that get, are like always posting about how they get them. And a part of me is like, why not me? Right. Why aren't I getting these? That's, that's, that's the me too movement for me. Like me too. I want to get sexually harassed. Emma Wilman has a joke about, cause she went on the road with Louis CK for a long time. Uh, she's a comic in New York. Very, very funny. Highly recommend checking her out. But she has this bit. She's like, you know, when, uh. When all this stuff with Louie happened, my mom called me and my mom's like, oh, my God, Emma, you know, like you, did he ever do this in front of you? And she's like, um, no. (laughs) And she's like, really? I mean, it says he did it in front of everybody, (laughs) that he was jerking out in front of everybody. She's like, mom, he didn't do it in front of me, okay? And she's like, you know, I think there should just be... A Me Too movement. It's like, you know, me too, but not me. <laughs> okay, so I didn't have an original joke. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's hilarious. That's funny. I love it. Oh, so okay. remember uh, last year when Rafe and I went to uh, like the Destin, Florida area for uh, his brother's wedding? Right. Okay, so I'm going to look this up. Or Destin, called, Florida porn? Yeah, Destin, Florida tourist oh, porn. I keep picking it, and I'm thinking that it's you. Okay, so in uh, when we went, I'm going to tell you guys about what happened. So we drove 10, 11 hours to our Airbnb in Destin. It's called Okaloosa Island. It's about like five miles from Destin. It's a cute little area. It's got like clear water, you know, the whole deal. And um, I was so excited to get in the water. We like ran in, dropped our shit off real quick because I am, I wouldn't call myself uh, like a neat freak, but sometimes I just get fixated on having to do things. So Rafe was like, ah, we'll get the rest of the stuff later. And it was like 95 degrees out and we were like getting to our Airbnb and I'm like, fuck no, we're getting all this fucking shit out of the car right now. And either you fucking come with me and do it or I'm doing it my fucking self. I'm that person that I'll be like, this needs to be done. And then I'll like try to lift a couch by myself to fix something. And then I end up like breaking my elbow because I'm just like, it needs to be done. So we get to okay. our Airbnb on Okaloosa Island. And I'm like, we're bringing everything in right now. Let's go. And we're sweating. It's 95 <laughs> out. We're so hot. And Rafe's like, I'm going to pass out. And I'm like, me too. Let's go. <laughs> bring it in. So we bring all our shit in. And then I'm looking at the water. I'm like, oh, my God, it's so beautiful. There's like white sand. The water's clear. It's so fucking cute. It's fucking cute. And I put my swimsuit on. I'm like, let's go. We're going in the water. And I get in the water and I'm like, oh, it feels like some kind of slimies around. I don't, it's very odd. I get out. I'm covered in this green shit. Oh, it's in my tits. Uh. It's in my fucking bottom of my bathing suit. Every It's all over me. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? And so we start doing some research and it's called June grass. So I'm going to tell you about it based off a website called 30a.com. Don't know what that is, but. 
You may not have heard of June grass unless you've been to our neck of the woods. The unappealing green algae appears in the Gulf of Mexico, along the panhandle of Florida and the beaches of Alabama, and ultimately washes onto the shores. Locals call it June grass, but what else do we know about it? So it's an algae. And it like it'll um, it's good for the ecosystem. You can find it all summer long. You can't really avoid it. Like it literally looks like this piled up on the beach. Okay, I have seen that. And it's I mean, the beaches are beautiful, so it's very unfortunate. Well, it looks pretty sitting there. Well, so what happened is we were there for 10 days. I started doing some research, got me a forum called the June Grass Report. (laughs) And it's a website where locals post the status of June grass in their area. So Destin, Okaloosa Island, whatever. I subscribed to this last year. Okay. And I'm still getting emails. The other day I wake up and I see one and it's like the first one. It was like June 3rd that I start getting one. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I forgot I subscribed to this. (laughs) So it's like just people. We did discover this morning that coming out at 7 a.m., the water is much clearer. Now at 9.45 a.m., it's starting to turn to mushy pea soup again, <laughs> LOL. So I am guessing as the water gets warmer, it stirs that stuff up more. And it's just all these locals. I don't know why I read Ugh. every email, though. I see a different picture of it in the water. It looks disgusting. Oh, it's it's grody. It looks like, ugh. I Was mean, there anybody else in the water? Yeah. But everybody is, it's, it's a, like a gross thing. Nobody cares. Yeah. I mean, they Ugh. care. It is gross, but it's still like certain parts are clearer than others. And it's it's just. Looks like you could swim out past it. Then you float out into the. O- oh, that's a boat. Okay. So the picture I see on that site. Way far out. It looked closer. And then I saw that there was a boat and it was not a toy boat. It's a life-size boat. So. I just love that it's called the June Grass Report. Like, it's like, coming to you with hard-hitting facts. June grass report. I keep kicking that thing. Well. Well, uh, if there's any listeners that know anything about June grass, and you give us an, a, li- a live update instead of Tina having to wait for the email to come in. Let us know. Send her a message. Is there June grass? How heavy is it? How thick is it? Did it get in your pussy or your balls? Uh- I like the Gulf of Mexico, but now that I know about that, I don't know that I'd ever go there again. Well, I mean, it's just, it really is better at certain times of day. And when it rains a lot, that's when it gets worse, too, because it gets stirred up. It gets stirred up. It gets all stirred up. I do love me the beach, though. Oh, my God. I love the ocean. Oh, I don't like the, I don't like the other side. Atlantic. Yes. It's It's brown. cold. It's brown, it's cold, it's spooky. You don't, you can't see what's going on. Seaweed crawling on no, you. No, we've done that before. I've done the the ocean, the Atlantic side, or like, you know, Corpus Christi, El, all those areas. Get me to, to Cancun, baby. Mm-hmm. I've never been, and I want to go. I just like a good beach that looks like that. I want Blue a beach water. that looks fake. Yeah. So another area that I started looking at in the United States, because I was like, is there any clear water in the, you know, like in North America that's not Florida, California, whatever. And Michigan has clear water. They have one area. Look this bitch up. It's called Torch Lake. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. It looks like the motherfucking Caribbean. I think I'm going to get me an Airbnb and travel on down there because that shit is beautiful. You see how clear that fucking water is? How is that possible? Isn't that insane? How is that possible? It's gorgeous. So there's like Torch Lake. How is it? Why is Torch Lake so clear? Okay. You may be wondering what causes. This is an article from Forbes, if you've ever heard of it. (laughs) So. Okay, just give me about 10 minutes. You may be wondering what causes Torch Lake to have such beautiful, crystal clear turquoise waters. The answer lies largely in the underlying geology. Oh, I love geology. The lake is a fjord-like bay that was carved by glaciers during the last glaciation ice age. In parentheses. That was a long time ago. As glaciers retreated during the end of the glaciation, they carved lakes and glacial till. 
under great pressures, ice can behave similarly to a viscous liquid. Over a uh, what? <laughs> oh fuck! A liquid. <laughs> I meant to say liquid. A liquid. Over time, a glacier, gra- glacier picks up gravel, rocks, and sometimes boulders in the ice. As the glacier flows and moves, it acts as sandpaper, carving out glacial lakes and pulverizing <laughs> Pulver- underlying <laughs> rock into fine glacial till. But let me tell you, that shit is gorgeous. It looks beautiful. It looks like the Caribbean. Legit. Ain't it cold up there, though? Um, I think the water is pretty cold, but like... Let's just check it out. Let's just check out. I mean, freaking Michigan sounds cold as shit. Well, yeah, but in the summer, it's got to be nice. I want it to be at least 100. Mm. And uh, I, I love want the water the to be warm. I love it. I don't want to have to get in and go, ooh, 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 as I slowly dip my body in. Okay, yeah, it's pretty fucking cold there right now. It's 52. Yeah. But... So they don't need to be using the word Caribbean. Come on, Michigan, get it together. Torch Lake, hot weather. Does it ever get hot? That's what I need to know, because I want to take me a little vacation there. Okay. Okay, it uh, never gets nice and hot. (laughs) That's what I just learned. Torch Lake is the, oh, this is about the water. The water reaches around 71 degrees. That's nice. So maybe if you are, let's say, an Instagram influencer and can't afford to go to the Caribbean, but you head on up to Torch Lake and you can take so many pictures, you could maybe spray yourself with a bottle of water and make it look like you're sweating. Nobody will know the difference. Okay, so we're talking about 80 max is how warm it gets there, which Uh, is unfortunate. Because I guess in my mind, I was like, water's clear. It's getting hot. <laughs> 80's not hot enough. Mm-mm. I need 90. Hopefully, with global warming taking over the entire world, few years, Torch <laughs> Lake's going to be right where I want it to It'll be. It'll be torching you. One of my favorite things to say to these, uh, you know, shit bags that come into the restaurant I work at is like, Boy, I'm loving this global warming. It's fucking hot as hell out. And they're like, ha, 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 me too. It's not real. I'm like, okay. You love fucking with those customers. Can't help it. Well, that's the beauty of the jacket you have on. It's for hot and cold. It's got holes in it. I like it. I got it from Shein.com. You know, maybe you need a little air. You just, just open my armpit up, cut a hole in there. Boom, boom, bam. I just don't understand why somebody would buy a pair of jeans that already has holes in it. That was my grandma. Every time. Because they're cool, grandma. Yeah, because they're cool as fuck. Okay? And I'm going to have to watch 78 YouTube videos to get me to a place where I understand how to make the proper rips. And you've also got to have the proper kind of denim. It's got to be that soft, old denim. It can't be that stretchy shit, you know? Yeah. To have a good rip in a jean, it's got to be nice denim. I just don't understand why you'd pay $30 for a pair of jeans and cut the knees out. Because it's sick as fuck, Grandma. Now watch me cow tip you. (laughs) I'm about to cow tip your ass. Have you ever been cow tipping? I could never do that in my life. What a horrible thing. It's horrific. I eat cows, and that's horrible. Enough. Can't add on another layer by tipping them over. I mean, good grief. What's wrong with me? Good God. I hate that I eat meat. Me too. I I eat some veggies. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, come on. So, you know our buddy Bob Ayers? Yeah, good old Bob. Good old Bob. He's the best. Bob, uh, we were talking about fitness and all that, and what's happened is I've turned into an influencer on Bob. (laughs) He's now bought two things I told him to. Oh, wow. He said today, he goes, Tina, you should just start selling supplements because I would just buy them because you told me to. (laughs) Because I gave him the right inserts to buy. He said he's been having some foot pain, some heel pain, and I said, you got to buy the Superfeet inserts. 
They're the fucking best. They changed my life. They changed Rafe's life. They're the best. Are they changing Bob's life? Well, he hasn't bought, got him yet. He ordered him. Is this a sponsored post? No. And this today's episode sponsored by Superfeed, except I'm not going to get any fucking money from them because <laughs> I only got about 3,000 followers on Instagram, oh. similar to the Costco man uh, oh. lost his mind. But Bob also bought a Fitbit, the one that I told him to buy. Check it out. He sent me a picture of him rocking it out with his little Fitbit. Yes. Look at that little angel. Rocking it. God damn it, Bob. We sure do love you. We love you, Bob. You're an angel. I want to know how many steps you got. Dude, I did like fucking four miles the other day just at work. How many How many steps is it? It was like, I think 10,000. I can't remember. But it was also like my heart rate, too. Like I was pumping. I was running around. You were so saying... Open up, let's go. Open your mouth, let's go. (laughs) I've been running too. I'm getting more consistent at it and better. Consistently running 5K straight. I'm proud of myself. Good Lord. Got me a nice little pair of Brooks tennis shoes the other day. Do you take Simba? Oh, yeah. Simba goes on 5Ks with me. Royce can't handle them. I'm the Royce of the dog world. I've taken Royce. He's done 2.7 miles before, and it was good. Oh, my God. He crushed it. But it's like, I'm not running eight-minute miles. That's what you got to understand. I think when you tell people, like, yeah, I've been running. My miles are 11 minutes. They're not. It's not like I'm crushing it or anything. That is good. It's fine. I can't even drive a mile in 11 minutes (laughs) because I'm elderly, and it takes me a while. (laughs) You stop at everything. You're like, you need any help? <laughs> you want a sandwich? <laughs> I got one here in my car. It's very old. I don't remember how long it's been in here. It's been quite some time. But, uh, yeah, I'm I'm doing it. My goal this year is to run a half marathon. Which is 12. 13.1 miles. <laughs> That's my goal. I don't know if I'll reach it. Maybe I'll just reach a 10K, which is 6.2 miles. Have you ever gotten uh, one of those awards you hang around your neck? What are those called? Honorable mention. Like a, what are those called? Not a trophy. A medal. Yeah, figure skating. You should bring Uh, the medals here and display them on the beautiful red uh, curtain. Just hang them up. (laughs) Show you how good at stuff I am. L- melt them down and turn them into fine jewels. Melt them down and sell them in Zelda. Yeah. You don't do that. No. I haven't played my Switch in weeks. Me too. I haven't played Animal Crossing or anything. Because of Outlander. It's work. You got to put in the work. I've been so addicted to my cell phone lately that I've just had to go outside at points. I mean, I just put music in and I'm like, we got to go on a run. I got to do something. I'm not doing shit that's productive. I guess I'm running. That's good. I'm trying to think if I am. Mm-mm. It's difficult, especially right now. It's like everything just feels sad. Tough times. Oh, what are you doing? I'm just thinking. Oh, about your past or thinking about present? my past, <laughs> past and present. What's going on? I was like, "What's <laughs> happening?" We lost you there for a second. <laughs> I went bye bye. I was trying to think if I've done anything. Thank you. I've done some writing for the uh, the class that I'm taking. Assignment was supposed to be turned in today. Didn't, didn't turn it, it in because I didn't write it yet. Are you going to do it when you get home? I sure am. That's good. As long as you get it in by midnight, you ain't a piece of shit in my eyes. Supposed to be turned in at 12 p.m. noon. Oh, it was. I mean, it's not like we're getting a grade. So I turned mine in late last week. So you did it. It's all that matters. I don't know what to write about yet. I had to write about a time you felt vulnerable. I'm like, there's so many to choose from. I got a million. Not a million, but I got I got a lot. Got a few couple. A couple few. Got some. 
enough to make it bring a tear to your eye. <laughs> what i'm saying some of those stories people write are sad as heck but also funny mm-hmm. that's the whole point of the class Uh-oh. to be sad as fuck and funny that's the point well it's writing about sadness but being funny that's the class it's pretty much all i fucking do in my <laughs> mind <laughs> thinking about your past no, I've just been trying to fucking write an outline for my pilot, and it's proving to be difficult. Ugh. But it's like, I don't want to. I've read a lot of sitcom books and done all of that, which is good, but it's not what I want to do. I want a dramedy. So I'm like, I've been writing an outline for the show and all that shit. It's been tough. Hmm. But, you know. How many pages is a pilot? Well, it, I mean, it just depends. If you're doing like a sitcom, it could be anywhere from like 32 to like 38, 32 to 42. But it's like a typical sitcom with like commercial breaks and all that. I think it's like 28 pages. Damn. That's but pages. Yeah. I mean, you got to do the whole deal. But the cool thing about dramedies and all that, you know, shows that are like Girls, Atlanta, Insecure. Uh, better things like those are just a few that are out now. Um, you can do whatever the fuck you want. You get to break the rules. So it's like, it still follows a traditional structure, but like you get to do whatever the fuck you want. So it's like, there's so much artistic, uh, freedom. Do you, are you going to tell us what it's going to be about? Yeah, it's going to be, it's a, I mean, it's essentially my family, but it's going to be, like a heightened version of a character of myself and my family. And it's going to be just kind of all that. Is Igor going to be in this? Oh, yeah. Who is going to play Igor? I don't know. I love, I don't know any Russian actors. Why or, can't Igor play Igor? He honestly might be able to. We'll see. But yeah, I mean, it's basically just a f- immigrant family navigating life. And it's and like, I'll be the forefront of it. Or who's like going to play you? Probably me. <laughs> wow. I could do it hey guys it's tina d ball here that's all i can i don't think i'm gonna have comedy in it though i can't decide that wasn't a funny rendition that was real yeah that was just how i talk (laughs) i had somebody the other day while i'm working at the uh restaurant recognize my voice over the phone and say you're the comedian aren't you I was like, yep. They go, recognize your voice. I go, uh-huh. It happens more often than you think. <laughs> who's who's going to play your uh, podcast sidekick? Probably Randy. <laughs> <laughs> Roasted. I would like to audition for the part. You can you audition, mind. but I there ain't no promises. I hate women, and I don't want them anywhere near my show. <laughs> Be like, hi, my name's Libby. I'm here to audition for the part of... <clears throat> Libby, and they'll be like, "Okay, show us what you Interesting. got." Interesting. Don't have a Libby written into the pilot. Get the fuck on. <laughs> no, there certainly should be a Libby in the pilot, and I'm here to. I, hi guys, my name's Libby, and I. <clears throat> hi guys, my name. <clears throat> I wrote you. <laughs> in... Hi guys. Oh, God, she's crying. Get her out of here. You want a Chewy Bar for the road? Give you some sustenance? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> chewy Bar? You want a fucking Chewy Bar to give you some sustenance for that sad-ass walk did, home you're going to have? Did that come in a Bark.com box? In a Bark box? <laughs> bark box? <laughs> yeah, it's a dog treat. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, no, I did write you into the outline of, like, characters in the ensemble. <laughs> Like, someone based on you is, like, a friend. But it's, like, I'm trying to figure out, like, what the scale's occupation is going to be. Because it's really going to start out at, like, a real bottom part. It's going to be... I'm excited about it. Uh, I think it's going to be really fucking funny. I can't wait till you come up with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'll be, like, a couple years. So, just uh, be I'll on the lookout. i dead by, by then. Yeah, me fucking, too. That's what I'm fucking saying. Yeah, I was biting my nails, so what? I'm just looking at the camera. It looks so nice. Looks fucking fancy. Randall R. Cash copied off me. Too bad you moved it. I'm so sorry. I think it's still in the right spot. 
When are we going to start recording? <laughs> <laughs> Have we started the podcast? <laughs> I don't know. I do not know. I do not know. I wanted to stay here and fucking mess around with Randy, but I'm elderly. He's I think taken. I need a nap. He has a girlfriend. You can't just mess around with whoever you want, Libby. Look. Well. Uh-oh. See, Randy wants to slap this fat ass. <laughs> hey, you want to slap this fat ass? Holy shit. Oh, man, I want that to be your fucking opening line to the next person you fuck. You want to fucking slap this fat ass? Who, me? I ain't never fucking again. Get over here and slap this fat ass. You want to slap this fat ass? Oh, my. I'm sorry, what? What the fuck did you just say to me? Maybe I'll say that when I go on stage again. Anybody in here want to slap this fat ass? <laughs> Come on up. Come on up. Come on up, motherfucker. That'll waste a good five minutes. So then Slap. I can say, I got 30 minutes material now. Slap this fucking fat ass. <laughs> That'll get the crowd going. Line up. And the club owner be like, I'm sorry, we can't have people walking up and down the aisles coming up there to slap your ass. Here's the cool part. You could slap this fat ass and we could still social distance. Because <laughs> I'll be turned around. Because I'm going to be laying way. down on the stage <laughs> like a fucking <laughs> torpedo. I'll be doing a plank on the stage while everyone smacks that ass. Mm. Better wear a mask, though. <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Do I have to wear a mask on stage? What do you do? What's the right thing to do? Because I got a cute one. It's got little pugs on it, little French bulldogs. I can wear that one on stage. Have you seen an eagle yet wearing a pug mask? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> well, shit. Okay. There's an eagle flying into a wind turbine, and Trump's like, see? He wore a mask. That's what killed him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know who Trump is. <clears throat> Me neither. Get that motherfucker out. You know what I'm saying? We done. We're done. Your fucking time's up, you dumb bitch. You dumb fucking orange disingenuous bitch. You fucking done. You're canceled. Time's up for this bra that I'm wearing. Time's up for these fucking leggings I think I can still fit into. <laughs> They're too tight. They're too tight. My fupa roll, rolls them down. <laughs> That's how you know something doesn't fit. If your body is rejecting your clothing, it doesn't fit anymore. And that's okay. It's like you when you either... get a heart transplant and it rejects it. Exactly. It's your body telling you, <laughs> I'm done. Time's up. I'm not wearing this shit no more. It just rolls it down. Got a few <laughs> items. My body's just like, uh-uh, I want it off. It's not that you don't fit in the clothes. I mean, you don't fit in the clothes. That's where we're at. But your body's done. It's trying to tell you, can you take this off? I don't want to wear it anymore. <laughs> and in your mind, your brain's telling you, I want to wear that. That's why they call it a mind-body connection, okay? Mm -hmm. My mind says, I fit into this. I can wear this clothes. But my body is saying... My body is saying, no, 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 no. Amen, sister. Isn't so my body's saying, it's telling me. That's... My mind's telling me no, but my body is telling me yes. My mind <laughs> is telling me no, but my body... My body is telling me yes. Is that, uh, what's his name? We should fucking kill ourselves. I can't think of what the guy's name is. Who is it? It's a guy that pee-peed on people. R. Kelly. Oh, it is? Isn't it? Is it R. Kelly? Wow. It is R. Kelly. It's the very beginning of the Bump and Grind song. Get the fuck on, R. Kelly. You're done. <laughs> you knew all too. the lyrics to that shit. Just because you know the lyrics of something doesn't mean you know who it's by. You know? I mean, A bunch you're of white right. people singing Sweet Caroline <laughs> in the Lake of the Ozarks. Some of them don't even know who sings it. But I know because I'm a real one. Well, 
It's Neil Young. Sexy granny swallows cum after doggy style banging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's the kind of shit you should be watching. You're fucking the cream out of me, stepdaddy. <laughs> mm. I woke up my big ass stepmom with my dick. <laughs> I woke up my big ass stepmom with breakfast (laughs) and then I came on her. Wow. Some of these titles. I came into the stuffed French toast. So not only was it breakfast, but it was also cum. (laughs) The stuffed French toast is a mix of cum and cream cheese. That does don't not sound good. Do that. Don't act like I'm the grossest person. No, in the that world. Th- for some reason that one made me gag, and I don't know why. Because I li- I can take a lot of gross stuff. Because you're a bitch. <laughs> Was it the cream cheese that grossed you? Yes. <laughs> hey, don't... cream cheese. You do? No, I love it. Oh man, I fuck with cream cheese all the time. I love it. It's so good. I've been buying flavored cream cheese lately. What Garden flavor? Vegetable, Ooh. strawberry, and honey pecan. Ooh. Make yourself a nice little roll up with that. Is that Make from a little the bread pinwheel? Co? What is it from the bread co? Those? No, I've been making it at home. Oh, amen, amen. Under his eye, let the church say amen, amen. Mm, nothing happened. Oh, okay, because God's not real. <laughs> How do you know? You're right, I don't. What I do know is that somebody made this jacket for me, and I paid $20 for it, and I bet your grandmother would roll over in her grave if she saw this. She'd be pissed. She'd go on about it all day. She'd be pissed, make her shitty-ass food. Every time she saw you, I just don't understand. It just doesn't make sense why somebody would buy that $30 jacket. You know what doesn't make sense to me is that you're wearing dress pants (laughs) <laughs> that flare out so far <laughs> with fucking diabetes shoes. <laughs> That's what doesn't make sense to me. Who the fuck pays for that? Oh, my God. I'm going to send you a picture of her later when I get home of her in, like, this pink negligee or robe or something. It's always the people that don't have style, too, <laughs> that are like, I just don't get why you would pay for that. You know what I don't fucking get? Why you would pay for that. Why like, you would pay for that outfit you're wearing right now. You can get comfy shoes that are good for your feet, that are cool looking, okay? Get you some yeah, nice inserts. Yeah, but if inserts. they're over $5, she ain't getting it. Mm. This is a gal who grew up in the Depression and hasn't left it. But she's paying $140 <laughs> for her pair of diabetes <laughs> shoes. If she can't buy it at Fred's, she ain't wearing it. Mm-mm. Trying to think uh, of that place. I just can't believe you would pay for something like that. It just Why make would sense. you pay for something like that? Well, What's why don't you tell me place? why you're paying? Now she she would take me and get let me buy clothes, but then she would say stuff like that the whole time. Yeah. Mm-mm. I don't talk shit on your clothes to your <laughs> dumbass face. You don't have to talk <laughs> shit on my clothes. That's what I say. Just. I can't fucking stand when people talk shit on somebody's clothing. I can't. Like, what difference does it make? Who, Who fucking gives cares? A fuck? If they like it, wear it. I mean, I've gotten so much shit talked on me when I'm wearing a fucking shirt with an eagle and a wolf and stuff on it. Like a cool-ass t-shirt. Who would talk shit on Who you? gives a fuck? I think it's cool, and I'm wearing it. Mm, I don't really like, you know, what is she wearing? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, okay? Shut the fuck up, bitch. (laughs) Shut the fuck up. You wear whatever you want. If it makes you feel cool, then awesome. Now, there are certain things I will talk shit on, and it's usually related to price of clothing. You know, like, if it's someone's shoes and I'm like, those aren't even cool, and you paid $300 for those, then I'm like, what are you doing? We could get you something cheaper. And that way, you could buy more ugly shit. More, it makes more you shoes. feel happy. That's Look, all. I'm not trying to be rude, but 
There are three videos on here that I have got to watch. What are they? In the next five minutes. Name them off. Brazil fart orgy. And it's butts upon butts stacked. Mm -hmm. Twerk fart compilation. (laughs) And then the giant barber forcing her slave to smell farts. I'm sorry. What was that last one? (laughs) Giant Barbara. Forcing her slave to smell farts. What's the guy look like? Just like wearing a wife beater and like a bowl cut? It looks and like some tribal tattoos. I can't tell. It looks like a gal. Mm. I'll have to watch it to find out. Sure. I mean, we're going to need a full report back. <laughs> but I think that's about all the time we've got for today. It's all the time we have. It's all the time we have here at uh, Slop City. We got the light, covered a lot of hard topics as usual. Um, I could think the world's better for it Mm -hmm. for our take on it mostly poop and porn amen (laughs) today was very poopy and porny wasn't it yes it was but that's what that's what's going on in our lives so we talk about what we know we don't try to act like we know anything else it's the first lesson Mm -hmm. of of something y'all it's been real Thanks for joining us, and thank you to Randall R. Cash for making his living room open and available. I'm sorry, his dining room. Thank you. It's uh, definitely a dining room. We love y'all. We'll see you later. And also, we just want to remind y'all that uh, one person did test positive for COVID that was at the Lake of the Ozarks party in and up last week. So uh, hopefully we don't see a surge in cases, and all of this is a Democratic witch hunt hoax. That's all uh, we want to say. And if it is a hoax, may God be with you. (laughs) And cut. (laughs) Wow. Hell yeah. Long rip. (laughs) That was the one. That's the one to end on. That was a long rip. Love y'all. Bye-bye.